The Civil War had a significant impact on Native Americans. The bitter conflict divided the political loyalties of indigenous peoples, just as it had non-Indian communities. First Nations support of the Union and Confederate causes was generally driven by their experiences with and economic ties to non-Indians, their geographic locations, attitudes about slavery, and community needs. In 1862, Colonel William H. Thomas, who was the first and only white man to serve as a Cherokee chief, recruited tribal members to serve alongside non-Indians in a Confederate unit. That unit would be known as Thomas's Legion, or the Highland Rangers. The troop later was named the 69th North Carolina. Hundreds of Cherokees would serve in the Legion, which fought in western sections of North Carolina and in Tennessee and Virginia. In early 1864, members of Thomas's Legion took part in a raid on Union supply lines in Tennessee. After the Confederate raiders withdrew back into North Carolina, the 14th Illinois was dispatched to destroy the unit. On February 2nd, the Federal horsemen caught up with Thomas's troops on Deep Creek in western North Carolina. Accounts differ about the fight, also known as the Battle of Qualatown. But casualties were relatively low, and a number of Confederates, including Cherokee, were captured. The battle, along with other issues affecting the tribe, undermined further recruiting efforts by Thomas and led to native desertions from the Confederate service and cause. Members of the Legion served in the final engagement in North Carolina at Waynesville in May 1865 and were among the last soldiers east of the Mississippi to surrender. 